Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. The Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. includes a permanent exhibit of presidential portraits. Former gallery director Mark Pachter gave American History TV a tour of a portion of the exhibit to discuss the art and politics of presidential portraits. Now, the National Portrait Gallery is an interesting sort of institution because it is both history and art in one institution. And it has as its core purpose our not letting ourselves forget the, the amazing people in our national history. Um, in a way, it's cheating death, making sure that they're always in our company. Now, my idea is to start with the president that matters most of all, because all the others have to follow in his track, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the others. But it all begins with George Washington. This is probably the most important portrait, visual, historical document in American history, bar none. Usually uh, curators and scholars don't like to make absolute statements, but I make that without, without question. This is the Lansdowne portrait of George Washington. Now, why is it so important? Well, we don't remember anymore because we're used to two things. First, that America's going to stick around, that it's actually a, a country that's going to make it over the long run. We now know that. They didn't know that so much in the revolutionary times. And secondly, nobody knew what a president was. There had never been such a creature before. There had been kings. There had been despots. There had been all sorts of categories of people with absolute power. But delivered power from the people? Unheard of. So when we decided in the Constitution to have a president, we didn't know what we were deciding. Now just think, this is a portrait of our George. There happened to be another George at the time, George III, representing monarchy. And George III was just drenched in ermine. So the idea that a president, what is a president? A president doesn't dress up. He doesn't swathe himself in beautiful, beautiful outfits speaking magnificence and wealth. No, a president wears a black, in those days that would have been a business suit, a black business suit. Doesn't shock us now, would have shocked uh, us then. And we have in the portrait gallery various times examples of presidents dressing down in the best sense. We even have a portrait, it wasn't an official portrait of the day, of Ronald Reagan in jeans. Same thing is happening. Uh, it actually charms the American public, if it's done well, that a president would actually be painted in jeans.